New at 11, a popular park is getting an overhaul. It all stems from a deadly incident that happened back in April. A Pomeranian Chihuahua mix was attacked and killed by a much larger dog inside the park. Tonight, 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga takes a closer look at the changes made. Months after a 12 year old dog was killed at the Horseman and Dog Fanciers Park, Clark County officials have finally stepped in. We've heard enough concerns where we, we the county, decided that we needed to take a, a step to help mitigate. After the attack, pet owners hung these flyers up demanding change. Somebody can do something. All it is is a sign. All we need is a sign put up. That's it. Daniel Hernandez walked us through what's new. This was one large area. Uh, so, this walking path that you see behind me was all installed. Our real property management department came in, put in this fe uh, fence to divide the two areas, the picnic tables and the walkways. These fences were put up too to divide the area. It'll separate the smaller dogs from the larger ones. If we see, say, an area that has um, a dog that either we've had a history with that has started a fight before or we're not sure about or just the size of the dog or breed, um, it's really nice to have those options to go into a different area and still feel like you're safe. The attack in April started. Startled many, some too scared to bring their pets here afterwards. Bingo was a happy go lucky dog. Yep, and he was my heart. He was my heart. You can't always stop every situation that happens because we don't have staff here. And going to a dog park, you do have to be aware of your surroundings. But in creating these kind of situations, we're able to at least take one extra concern off the plate. It's an example of the power of the people, enough care to make a difference. Their goal to make sure another pet owner didn't have to go through that heartache again. Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now. Shakela, thank you.